O Son of Justice, Jesus Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts till your blessed light makes nighttime flee and brings the joys your day imparts. In this our time acceptable, touch every heart with sorrow, Lord, that turned from sin renewed by grace, we may press on towards love's reward. The day your day in beauty dawns, when in your light earth blooms anew, led back again to life's true way. May we forgive, rejoice. Let us pray. God of the powers and maker of all creation, God of justice and lover and maker of peace, we are distressed by the violence and the threats of violence and destruction in the world, and especially by acts of war and brutality that the people experience in Ukraine. In solidarity with them, we pray for those who are suffering and in danger, who live in fear and anxiety, who fear what tomorrow will bring, who are anxious for their lives and the lives of those they love and care for, and who mourn for the dead. We pray that those with power over war will lay down weapons, and that those who have power to accomplish peace will have wisdom and compassion. God of grace, the giver of life, send your comforter, the spirit of truth, who is everywhere present and fills all things, to sustain the hope of all those who seek justice and peace, and to inspire the leaders of nations to do what is right. Glory to you, O God, creator, Christ and Holy Spirit, now and forever, in the strong name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace, we pray. Amen. Peace. Help us. 
us to put aside the angry word, the clinching fist, the wish and will to hurt. Teach us the way in which love best is served. Lord, have mercy. Lord, grant us peace. You did not even spare your only Son. He lived our griefs and bore all evil done. But through the cross, redemption Let us pray. Father, it's so hard to love the world sometimes, and to love it the way Jesus did seems impossible. Help me to be inspired by his love and guided by his example. Most of all, I want to accept that I can't do it alone, and that trying is an arrogance of self-centeredness. I need you, dear God, to give me support in this journey. Show me how to unlock my heart so that I am less selfish. Let me be less fearful of the pain and darkness that will be transformed by your Easter joy. Amen.
things present, nor things to Please join in singing the psalm found in the Blue Gather 29, Shepherd Me, O God, 2-9. Follow me, 
All in an April Evening by Catherine Tynan All in the April morning, April airs were abroad. The sheep with their little lambs passed me by on the road. The sheep with their little lambs passed me by on the road. All in an April evening, I thought on the Lamb of God. The lambs were weary and crying with a weak human cry. I thought on the Lamb of God going meekly to die. Up in the blue, blue mountains, dewy pastures are sweet. Rest for the little bodies, rest for the little feet. But for the Lamb of God, up on the hill top green, only a cross of shame, two stark crosses between. All in the April evening, April airs were abroad. I saw the sheep with their lambs and thought on the Lamb of God. Our 
fills us with mother's love. With a shepherd's care, God leads us. With a father's strength, God guides us. With a mother's love, God nurtures us. Cradles us in gentle arms. Repentance by George Herbert. Lord, I confess my sin is great. Great is my sin. O oh, gently treat with your quick flower, your momentary bloom, whose life still pressing is one undressing, a steady aiming at a tomb. Man's age is two hours' work, or three. Each day does round about us see. Thus are we to delights, but we are all to sorrows old, if like be told from what life feels of Adam's fall. O oh, let your height of mercy then, compassionate, short-breathed men, cut me not off for my most foul transgression. I do confess my foolishness, my God, accept of my confession. Sweeten at length this bitter bowl, which you have poured into my soul. Your wormwood turned to health, winds to fair weather. For if you stay, I in this day, as we did rise, we die together. When you for sin rebuke each man, for with he waxes woe and wan, bitterness fills our bowels, all our hearts pine and decay and drop away and carry with them the other, other parts. But you will sin and grief destroy that so the broken bones may joy and tune together in a well-set song full of his praises who dead men raises. Fractured, well cured, make us more strong.
Pope Francis's Prayer for Peace. 
Lord God of peace, hear our prayer. We have tried so many times and over so many years to resolve our conflicts by our own powers and by the force of our arms. How many moments of hostility and darkness have we experienced? How much blood has been shed? How many lives have been shattered? How many hopes have been buried? But our efforts have been in vain. Now, Lord, come to our aid. Grant us peace. Teach us peace. Guide our steps in the way of peace. Open our eyes and our hearts and give us the courage to say, never again war. With war, everything is lost. Instill in our hearts the courage to take concrete steps to achieve peace. God of Abraham, God of the prophets, God of love, you created us and call us to live as brothers and sisters. Give us the strength daily to be instruments of peace. Enable us to see everyone who crosses our path as our brother or sister. Make us sensitive to the plea of our citizens who entreat us to turn our weapons of war into implements of peace, our trepidation into confident trust, and our quarreling into forgiveness. Keep alive within us the flame of hope so that with patience and perseverance we may opt for dialogue and reconciliation. In this way, may peace triumph at last, and may the words division, hatred, and war be banished from the heart of every man and woman. Lord, diffuse the violence of our tongues and our hands. Renew our hearts and minds so that the word which always brings us together will be brother and our way of life will always be that of shalom, peace, shalom. Amen. Please join in singing the closing hymn found in the Blue Gather 558, We Shall Rise Again. We will sing verses 1, 3, and 5. Thank you. 
shall feel their acceptance and the joy of new life. We shall join in the gathering, reunited in God's love. We shall rise again on the last day with the faithful rich and poor, coming to the house of Lord Jesus, we will find in